Welcome to my new and improved 3x3 cube tutorial. I guarantee that this video will help you solve the first side of your Rubik's Cube, or you can have your money back. I'll take it nice and slow, and I promise not to use any complicated terms. You can use this method to solve any color side as your first side, but I'm going to use the white side since it stands out the most. Here, you can see the white side with all the colors around it matching. This is our goal. It's also possible to complete the white side with the colors not matching, like this. But then, you can't actually solve the rest of the cube, so this is what we're going to do. The first step is called the daisy, because it has a yellow in the middle, and it's surrounded by four white edge pieces, making it look kind of like a daisy. So, let's get started. First, find the yellow center on your cube. It does not matter which colors are around it right now. Now, we're going to look for a white edge piece, meaning a white piece that is not on a corner. You could ignore all the white corner pieces for now. We don't care where they are yet. So first, I'm going to look around the middle layer of the cube for any white edge pieces, because these are the easiest ones to put onto the top layer. So here, you can see I have this one that's white and red. And since this piece is facing me, all I need to do is just rotate it up, and now you can see that it's on the top layer right next to the yellow center, right where we want it. After we put this piece up, we're going to continue to look around the middle layer to see if there's any other white pieces. And as you can see, there's not. So next, we're going to take a look at the bottom of the cube to see if there's any white edges here in the bottom. And as you can see, there is one right here. So we're going to look the opposite of that, which is right up here, to see if that's a white piece. And as you can see, since it's not, then we can just rotate this side two times. So now it's on the top, right next to this yellow center. If this white edge on the bottom is underneath the white piece, then if we were to rotate it up, you can see that it would knock the other white piece out of the way. So what we're going to do is we're going to rotate that white piece on the top out of the way, so that now we can rotate this side up without knocking out this other white piece. And now you can see they're both right next to the yellow center. Next, we're going to look on the bottom layer for any other white edge pieces. So right here, you can see we have a white edge piece that's facing us and is on the bottom. So in this situation, we can't just rotate this part up because then you'll see it's on the side. So for this, what we have to do, we have to rotate this front side one time to put this white edge in the middle layer so that it's just like our first example, where now all we need to do is just rotate it up. But as you saw, we knocked out this other white edge piece while rotating the front. But since this one's also in the middle layer, once again, we can just rotate this up. And now we can see we have three white edge pieces right next to our yellow center. The other way that we can have a white piece is if it's on the top layer already, but it's facing the wrong direction. Because here you can see the white is facing us instead of being on the top. So in this situation, we want to rotate the front one time, except now you can see that if we were to rotate this white up to the top, it would knock out another white. So here we have to rotate the top one time so that the spot that it rotates up to is not a white edge. So if we rotate the top one time, and then we rotate the left side, now you can see that that will go up without knocking anything else out. And now you can see we have all four white pieces right next to our yellow center, completing the daisy. The next step is the white cross. This will put the white edge pieces in the right place on the white side. The white side is the side that has the white in the center. When we finish this step, it will look something like this with the white edge pieces matching the color of the center piece below it. So you can see we have our white and green edge with our green, our white and red edge with our red, white and blue with the blue, and white and orange with the orange. Let's keep the center of our daisy pointing out for this whole step. If you rotate your cube, look to see if there's any places where the color of the edge matches the color of the center right below it. Here, you can see that we don't because green and red don't match, red and green, and so forth. But if we rotate the top layer, now let's look again. 
you can see that we have a white and orange edge that matches the color of the orange center right below it. So here, since they match, we want to rotate that side two times to put that white on the bottom. And now, if we look down, you can see that that white edge is right next to its white center and also matches the center on the other side of it as well. That's good. Now, still keeping the daisy on top with its three petals, let's rotate our cubes so that another white petal matches the color of the centerpiece below it. So if we rotate around, that doesn't match. But this, this does match. So, since it matches, we can rotate this side two times to move the white piece down to the bottom. And now, once again, if we peek down, we can see that the colors on this piece also match the colors of the centers right next to it. So now, if we look back up to the top with our daisy, with only two petals now, and we look around, we can see that neither of them match the colors. So we want to rotate it once, and look again, and still neither of them match. Then if we rotate it again, now you can see that the colors on this white edge match the colors of the center right below it. So once again, we're going to rotate that side two times, down to the bottom, and now, you can see that that piece matches both of the centers right next to it. Now we can look around the cube for our last petal, which is right here. And you can see that this also matches. So once again, we can just rotate that side two times down to the bottom. And now if we look at the bottom of our cube, we can see that we have the white cross and all of the colors of the edges match the centers right below it. So the blue with the blue, orange with the orange, green with the green, and red with the red. Our final step to complete the white side is to get all the white corners in the right places. This step will be the easiest if you keep the white side on the top the whole time. The white corner pieces can be in one of four different places. They can be on the bottom layer around the outside, on the bottom of the cube, on the top layer facing the top but in the wrong place, or on the top but facing the side. The easiest ones to work with are when they are on the bottom layer around the outside. So let's start there. So if we look along the bottom, then here you can see that we do have one white corner piece. That's white, blue, and orange. So the first thing we want to do is we want to move it so that that corner piece is right in between the blue and the orange centers. So if we rotate it like that, now you can see that this piece that has blue and orange is now right between the blue and the orange centers. So next, if we were to just turn it up into its place, then you can see that it knocked out this other white edge, which is bad. So what we want to do instead is what I like to call the elevator move. So we want to move this piece out of the way so we, so we don't get crushed by the elevator. The elevator comes down to pick us up. We get onto the elevator, and the elevator goes back up. And now, as you can see, our white, blue, and orange piece is right between our white, blue, and orange centers and didn't knock out either of the white edge pieces right next to it. Now, let's look at the bottom layer to see if there are any other white pieces. And as you can see, there are not any other white pieces. So the next place we want to look is the bottom of the cube. So here, you can see that on the bottom there is actually one white corner piece. It's the white, blue, and red corner piece. We want to rotate the bottom so that it's underneath the white, red, and blue centers. And as you can see, it actually already is. So what we want to do is pretend that this piece is already on the elevator. And we want to have the elevator come down. Except now, we want to rotate the bottom two times in either direction. So that it comes right out to the front, facing us, on the bottom layer. And now we can rotate the elevator back up, because now our piece is right where we want it to be. So once again, we, we need to rotate it so it's underneath the correct centers. So since it's white, blue, and red, we need to rotate it under the white, blue, and red. And now we want to do the elevator move again. So we want, we want to rotate it out of the way so we don't get crushed. The elevator comes down. We get on the elevator. And the elevator goes back up. And now, as you can see, that piece is in the correct spot. It's white, red, and blue right in between the white, red, and blue centers and it didn't move either of the other edges out of the way. Once there are no more white corners on your bottom layer or your bottom side, then look at your top layer. 
you can see that these two corner pieces right here are already in their correct spot because we put them in there. But these two that are also in the top layer are either facing the wrong way or in the wrong spot. So what we need to do is we need to get this piece onto the bottom layer so that it's easier for us to get into its correct spot. So with the white on the side, we're going to bring the elevator down, get off the elevator so that that white piece is facing you, and then bring the elevator back up. So now it's just like the first example where it's on the bottom layer facing us. So since this piece is white, red, and green, we need to rotate it under the white, red, and green centers. So here, now it's underneath the white, red, and green centers. So once again, we have to have it facing us and use the elevator. So we want to move out of the way of the elevator so it doesn't crush us. The elevator comes down, we get on the elevator, and the elevator goes back up. And now you can see that piece is in its correct place between the white, green, and red centers because it's a white, green, and red corner. So this is the last situation where your white corner is facing the right direction, but it's not in the correct spot. Because you can see that this corner is white, green, and orange, but it's next to the white, green, and red centers. So it's not in the correct spot. So once again, we're going to use the elevator. We need to bring the elevator down, we get off the elevator, and the elevator goes back up. So now it's on the bottom where it's easiest to work with. And now we just need to rotate it so it's underneath the correct spot. So you can see it's white, green, and orange. So it needs to be underneath the white, green, and orange centers. So now we can just use the elevator. So we move the piece out of the way of the elevator. The elevator comes down. We get on the elevator. And the elevator goes back up. And now the white, green, and orange corner is between the white, green, and orange centers. Right where it should be. And now, as you can see, we've completed the entire first layer of the cube.